In this lesson, we're going to talk about how to solve uh, trig equations involving uh, trig functions other than uh, sine and cosine. So let's talk about tan theta first. Um, it turns out that uh, tan theta represents the slope of a line through the origin on the unit circle. Why is that? Well, let's, uh, let's just remember that uh, tan theta equals y over x. That's a formula that we talked about in an earlier video. Well, imagine that you drew a line segment through 0, 0. Well, we know that slope is equal to y2 minus y1. So that would be y minus 0. And then um, over x2 minus x1. So that would be x minus 0. Uh, y minus 0 over x minus 0 is equal to y over x. So in other words, the slope of a line through the origin and the point on the outside of the unit circle is equal to y over x. But tan theta is equal to y over x. So that means tan theta equals the slope of the line. Well, that's, a good, that's good news. So let's say we want to solve for theta given that tan theta is uh, 1.6. And um, theta lies in between negative 360 degrees and 360 degrees inclusive. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to draw a unit circle with a line through the origin with a slope of 1.6. For this, you don't have to be uh, super precise. Just recall that a positive slope goes up to the right. There we go. So what we've done is we've drawn a, line, a unit circle, a line through the origin of the unit circle with a slope equal to the tan value given. Now... We use our calculator. Tan inverse of 1.6 is roughly 58.0 degrees. There we go. Now, how do we, we know um, if this is 58.0 degrees right here, which it is, then we know that across the way, we can, we can do the X theorem that we might have learned in grade 9. We know that across the way from that x is also going to be an angle with a magnitude of 58.0. Going back to the original uh, 0, which is always on the positive x-axis, and drawing around, we see we can go a full 180 degrees and then add another 58.0, getting us to 238.0 degrees. Okay? So that's what we're showing here. We've got the 58.0 in green. We have another 58.0 across the way. We can evaluate the angle at the other terminal arm as we just showed. Now what we've got is a couple of uh, answers, one at each terminal arm. And all we have to do now, uh, as before, is add and subtract 360 degrees at each of those terminal arm values uh, to get all the answers in the domain given. And uh, the only we have one more answer at each terminal arm. And now we're able to state the final answer. Each of these theta values lies in this domain and satisfies this equation. All right, uh, but what if we have a negative tan value? Let's say tan theta is negative 0 0.7. Well, what we do is draw a unit circle, put a line through the origin with a slope of negative 0 0.7. You can recall a negative slope goes down to the right. So we have an answer that looks like that. Now, using our calculator, we get that tan inverse of negative 0 0.7 is negative 35 degrees. Well, this looks like negative 35 degrees to me, so I'm pretty happy with that. That uh, region that I just colored in there, that has a magnitude of 35. This number here is negative 35.0 degrees because to get there we went clockwise, but the magnitude of the region I just shaded in is positive 35 degrees because magnitudes are not negative. Now, if I look at those two lines that I'm shading in right here, we see we have an X pattern from grade 9 math, meaning that this region right there must also have a magnitude of 35. So I can then say, starting here and going around, I'm going a full 180 counterclockwise, but then turning around and going 35 clockwise. Well, 180 counterclockwise and 35 clockwise is like saying 180 minus 35.0, uh, which is the same as saying 145.0 degrees. Okay. And that here is us discussing that same logic. 
Okay, shade in another one like that. And there we go. And now we've got an answer at each of those terminal arms. We add and subtract 360 degrees as necessary to get all the values in the given domain. And there we go. And we've got a final answer. Now, something that's uh, unique to tan is that uh, the if you have a value at one of the terminal arms, uh, it looks like just one big terminal arm going through, but it's really two different terminal arms, each of them beginning from the origin. Uh, one going one way, one going the other. And once you have a value at one terminal arm, then uh, of to get a value at the other terminal arm, you can just add 180 degrees. That's unique to tan. Now, but what about the secondary trig functions? Well, to solve a trig function involving a secondary, a trig equation with a secondary trig function, all we do is we uh, recall that the reciprocal, we like for instance this one here cosecant theta equals 1.8354 we're going to take the reciprocal of the left hand side the reciprocal of cosecant theta is sine theta and we're going to take the reciprocal of 1.8354 which is 1 over 1.8354 so basically all we're saying is that sine theta is equal to 1 over 1.8354 well 1 divided by 1.8354 is roughly the same as um, 0 0.5448. So um, basically all we're doing here is we've changed the equation given, which I'm circling, to an equivalent equation, and we solve it over the same domain given in the question. Okay? Well, what if we were given a question involving secant? Well, if the secant of theta is negative 2.5917, then that means the reciprocal of secant, which is cos theta, is going to equal the reciprocal of negative 2.5917, which will be 1 over negative 2.5917. Okay, so uh, what we've got... is roughly the same as saying cos theta equals uh, negative 0 0.3858. And now we can solve this equation over the exact same domain given. And finally, if we're told that cotangent theta is 0 0.7983, what well, we do, uh, we likely don't have a cotangent inverse button. Um, so what we do is we uh, use the tan inverse of the reciprocal. So the reciprocal of 0.7983 is 1.2527 approximately. So basically what we're doing is we're uh, approximately solving the equation uh, 1 .2, tan theta equals 1.2527 over the domain given. Okay. Because again, we uh, determine the uh, the reciprocal of cotangent theta and the reciprocal of this. Now, why are we doing that every time? We're doing that because likely your calculator does not have a secant inverse, a cosecant inverse, or a cotangent inverse. And we're also doing that because we um, have a method for solving uh, sine, cos, and tan on the unit circle, whereas we don't really have a method for solving the secondary trig functions. So we convert them to the primary trig functions as shown, and we answer the question that we were asked to answer.